Welcome, dear viewers, to a new episode of Dialogue Horizon. In this episode, we'll also, as we promised, we'll continue on the ongoing concern of everybody in the country. The, uh, this protracted uh, and delayed, many times delayed, ratification of signing of the final agreement between the uh, military and civilian components, and it seems that it still it will it will it will still drag on for quite some some time. Anyhow, we will cover in this uh, special episode of in Ramadan. Thirty minutes. We'll cover with we have our friend uh, Osman Wash. Osman Wash is the vice president of a Liberation and Justice Party. Uh, he's he's uh, well informed, and he's also following the activities uh, going on. Welcome, Mr. Osman Wash. Thank you for having me. Okay, Mr. Osman Wash, if we go back down in history, if we go back down in the recent history, we go to, let us say, immediately after the, after, after the um, uh, independence, independence on 1956, the first January 1956, Shortly after the first civilian government, only two or three years, we got our independence in 56. On November 19, 58, a military coup was staged by General Aboud and his uh, military, military uh, commanders, and they took over for about six years, till hosted by the popular uprising of October uh, of 1964, after the killing of the student in the University of Khartoum, one student was killed in a rally, peaceful rally, inside the barracks of the University of Khartoum. This led the streets to, to boil and to go into turbulence until they hosted the, the military regime of Abu. Followed by four years or three years of civilian governance, then it was also a coup was staged by the communists and the Arab nationals. Uh, in 1969, by General Nimeri and his uh, officers, commanders in different. After Nimeri, after 16 years of military rule, Nimeri in this rule, he was staggering between the far left, he started in the far less le left, communist confiscation and uh, recognition of Democratic Republic of, of, of Germany at that time, and uh, then he switched to Far right, the Muslim Brotherhood with Dr. Hassan Turabi, late Hassan Turabi, and he was staggering anyhow. But after that, after 16 years, after one year of international period and election, which brought Imam al Sadiq al Mahdi in power as Prime Minister for only three years, in 1989, the salvation, the Islamic coup was the stage and it ruled for 30 years in Sudan till hosted by this gallant revolution of December 2018. Okay, to what do you attribute this unstable situation in Sudan? Many countries like Sudan, like Kenya for example, they got their independence almost at the same time of Sudan, but they have a stable system of governance and they don't have any coup, like Kenya never coup after, after their independence after Jomo Kenyatta. Now in Sudan we have erratic, erratic political governance, military coup, uh, civilian, very short civilian rule. To what do you, do you, do you attribute this, this uh, phenomena? Yeah, uh, thank you for having me again. And let me brief about the history of Sudan, as you said. Is there any system of democratic system there on Acceptance of rule of, gov or rule of law is one of the most important things to be aspects of a democratic system. But in Sudan, we don't have that history before. So we, there is no uh, uh, democratic rule before. So as to make uh, any background of fear when we come to a democratic system. But also the other thing that uh, what we don't accept is that we brought a system that is not applicable in Sudan. Even the democratic system, the Westminster system, is not applicable to Sudan. 
likely in many cases it is type of democracy that in a coalition of national unity may be a good if you gone to election if there is uh, mostly we have two import, uh, uh, big parties uh, the Umma party and the unionist and later the islamist in a part so if uh, the unionists or take the, uh, the uh, mostly the Umma party take the power that means the unis, unionist is going to be at the opposition this will not help in 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 a in an area like Sudan, because they are not accustomed to rule of law, rule of law. Yeah, as I said earlier in uh, many in many occasions, that Sudan had been disrupted. The Sudan system of rule of law is being disrupted disrupted after the, uh, the, the the destruction of Soba, Soba uh, Kingdom. That is, that is early in 1950s, likely 1950s. After that, only the nomads had been uh, prevailing in Sudan in most cases, from the northern side or from the uh, African side. There is uh, a movement of uh, nomads from uh, from west uh, uh, north africa through darfur and sudan and west, rest of sudan west africa yes from west africa west, yeah. and also from the nile valley to the uh, interior of sudan so those nomads had been were not subjected to any systematic rule as af after all, the sectarian system was built after the uh, colonial is one of the problem also because sectarians are not depending on the democratic system. So we made a parties who are going to rule not on a system base but on sectarian base. Sectarian base that means the sectarian leaders who are to rule in in all the time in the unionist. The Mergani, the uh, what we call them, the uh, Mergania, was being on the top of the leadership of this union party for the beginning up to now. And the other side, we have uh, the Umma party. Uh, it is a revolutionary. It is a, used to be a revolutionary one, but it became sectarian. Also, the uh, the Mahdis are being on the top of this leadership. There is no rule of succession. There is no system of succession. <coughs> this n n n uh, no rule of succession makes difficult for the, the coming generations to the new generation to be in leadership. So that means uh, they think for another way to rule. Military system may be part of that one. So the military. That's why you. Uh, yeah, we are ruling from uh, any so, democratic so, so, back to. So, to so, as yeah. if you are, well, I agree with you as if you are saying that there is no democracy in the political parties, the secretariat, actually. Yes. No democracy. Yes. It is ruled by, by one person throughout the, 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 the history of, of, of this. Uh, that's why you are saying, as if you are saying, the parliamentary system is not suitable for a country like Sudan, which till now people do, 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 don't observe the rule of law. Yes. So the best is just to opt for maybe presidential system. Yeah, presidential system is one, and also the rule of law, and also the coalition. Yeah, never think of a, a opposition party. We think for any democracy to prevail, we need a union government, uh, national union government. National union government. Yeah. So you are, that's why they, they think it will be not stable. And it seems that what is happening now will repeat the same vicious circuit. The yeah. outcome of what is happening now. Yeah. The now outcome. it became more, uh, more, chaotic, more complex. More, more complex. Because of what? Uh, the, uh, last time in 1985 and 1965, we have those, the gathering of professionals that is representing everyone in the professional area. Mm. But now the gathering of the professionals are not representing anybody. And the, and the parties are completely divided and they are not in the scene anyway. So this is making a uh, chaotic scene in how to rule out a, a system that will be acceptable to most of Sudanese. That's, that's very true and I fully agree with you because until now people are still, they are, not, they are not starting to think out of the box, the box of the parliamentary system. This is a failed system 
for 67 years, it, it, it brought military rule 52 years out of 67 years, only 12 years democratic uh, And rule. that is right, because you know, after CBA in 2005, uh, every part of the Sudanese segment uh, of political sites are coming to go for for uh, for a constitution. The constitution has to be a presidential is the best for the Sudan after a long debate on this issue. So it is nonsense to come back after all that uh, discussion to come back to parliamentary uh, or this uh, type of sovereign council, which you all say the sovereign council had no any authority. You Why right. don't we bring it? That, 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 that reminds me of what I always, I always keep saying it. Einstein, the, the, the philosopher and the, 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 the scholar, he once said, insanity, madness, insanity, is repeating the same mistakes yeah. and expecting different results. Yeah. So they are repeating the same mistakes. Now, after, uh, definitely, it will boil down to a coup, military coup, after two or three years, after the transition period, because the mistakes uh, not not resolved oh. and the problems impeding the the, the, the process of democratic governance in parliament system not yet resolved or not removed. Oh. So they will repeat the same mistake. Nobody is paying attention to this. Nobody is listening to, to what we are saying. Nobody is, is, is willing to, to, to give up its own personal interest, vested interest for the uh, people, for, for the benefit of the people. That's the, that, problem that, 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 that's the, the problem this time, the problem this time is that we have political parties who are not tested for public at all. The Sudanese Congress and the others who are now playing role in the Sudanese politics right now were not tested publicly into the... Not tested. Uh, yeah, not tested by the public, by the Sudanese parties anymore because they are not been in any uh, electoral system before. Yes, yes, sure, sure. This is a big problem. Okay, let us move to another bone of contention. It is now becoming a bone of contention the, the, the conflict between the rapid the, 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 the national Sudanese armed forces and the rapid support forces. Now, the, as we know, more viewers they know that the rapid support forces is well equipped and well staffed. About one, they say about one hundred thousand of troops, well equipped, and they have they have at least the, the combat means in, 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 in certain areas, not big areas like the, the, they lack. Uh, air, 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 air weaponry, they lack uh, ships, they lack, but they have infantry, troops, well trained, and they have uh, good, proper uh, equipment. The conflict between the army and the, 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 the rapid support force is causing, sometimes people, they say it's causing, causing this, this, uh, this dilemma. Some people, and it also it was clear, it was clear in the rhetoric, by the general, the two generals, General Burhan and General Hamidi, as if they are at, as if they are at loggerheads. Oh. Somebody speaks, and the next day the other speaks differently. Uh, some one of them goes to Chad, the other goes next day to Chad. So it seems that there is a live rivalry, and everybody is now um, hoping that things will not go down to confrontation between the rapid support forces and the National Army. The National Army is adamant and fully looking for the integration of the rapid support forces, and they are calling for one unified army for the country as in any other country. Yeah. But the difference sometimes in time, oh. the military, the armed forces, they say that only two, three years is enough. The rapid support force, they say they want 10 years. Oh. So they are starting talking about the time, the, then they will go down to the details of the qualifications, of how to absorb them, whom to take and whom not to take, and things like this, as you know. So do you think this, it will continue, if not resolved, things will not move? The, this, is, this is not the problem. The real problem is that it is political, not a, a military issue. Because uh, in the military, uh, we have the, uh, the Sudanese military armed forces had a law that mandated him to work on uh, uh, the uh, on the system, and also the rapid support forces are also part of 
a Sudanese uh, army and it have its sword and with law, both have law. So it, uh, normally they are shared also together to make that transition because they agreed to make that council of uh, uh, sovereignty council because uh, Abdel Fattah became the, uh, the head and the, they became the vice, uh, the, the, yeah, the, the deputy. Yeah, so that means there is no problem between the military state anymore, uh, between armed forces and the rebel support. But it is a political issue. And this is the problem. We are engaging a whole military, both sides of military, to a political arena. We expose this military, which is an arm of government, of of uh, of state, not an arm of government. Because we are shifting our military and our uh, uh, other armed forces to to politicize them. So uh, they and uh, be, because of that one, we make the, we inherit this problem later on. But in reality, there is no problem in its role between the armed forces and the rapid support forces. So uh, what I mean is that now we are speaking about a political issue, not an armed uh, or uh, forces issue. So the expectation there will not be a clash between those two because they are mandated by the government of Sudan or the people of Sudan by law to work for the security and peace of Sudanese. So they, we don't expect them, they are making the chaos in for the Sudanese people because they are very important, they are state organs, they used for the military, they should not. And speaking publicly is, is the wrong thing because whenever they, we have a uh, military commander, we have a uh, rebel support force commander, they have a field to speak because they are, there is a panel for them to discuss any issue that is needed. They, they don't need to, for the public to speak about the arrangement of military and these things in the, in the, in the, in the public because they have uh, their panels, their areas, their organizations to speak about these issues in a very calm way, in a very systematic way, according to the law. If I ask, uh, if I ask to say those are a milit uh, state organs, they have lost, then it is better not to speak about them until we have a elected government which can say whether to join them together or even to remove them one of out, that is up to the legislators that were, were, uh, have been uh, elected, but not uh, on the political arena. Any discussion about these issues on any workshop or any arena will not be effective unless there is an elected government. I did elected, but when we the problem is that before going to the elected government, this is this is exactly there where we stand now. The the, the, the conflict, the deadlock, the impasse mm. is is in, in this issue. It right now, that, right the, now, right mm. now, the command the commander general, who is the Burhan, has the right to say everything about both forces. About both forces. Yes, both forces, because he is. He is, uh, he is the, uh, the, the in charge, he is in charge. So he is the person uh, uh, accepted by the Sudanese to move for the, for, for the transition. So he has the role and uh, the commander for both forces, the military and the rapid support. Uh, why, why is he not using, why, why, what, what's the reason for the conflict? That is one of the problems. He is not using he, his, uh, his mandate. He is not using his mandate. He yes, can, that can is use it. his mandate. Yes, that can, is. Can he, can he move? Can he give you instruction to every move, order? To move the every Arabic. order. Every order. He right to sing for the best of the Sudanese people, for the security of Sudan. He had the right to do, to make it. What about the two laws? The the rapid support. The have at least they have a law. They are organized. And there is uh, the commander in general. The commander in general is also said in the. Uh, it is part of the Sudanese uh, military. No, force. no. I mean, I mean, in the in the law law of the rapid support forces. He, it is stated that they are under the under what under the Sudanese uh, sovereignty council. Yes, uh -huh. he is the uh, the commander. The commander general is for all. He is the commander general as 
a president of the Supreme uh, Sovereignty Council. He is the president of all, he is the commander general of all armed forces. So he can use his leverage yes. as, 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 as a... To guide, head, to head guide head any uh, possible for the security of Sudanese people, yes. He is not using it, that is another thing. He is, sh he is shouting others uh, out of the, uh, of the forum that is not, uh, is not good for him and for the Sudanese people also. So there's a big problem. That now we are pointing out the, 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 the main reason. The reason that Burhan, he has... He has yeah, the mandate. The mandate. Yeah, because the popular mandate is taking the military of Sudan to take over until election. So he is in charge until election. Of the military of Sudan. O of as, anything in Sudan. As a head, now yeah. head of the state. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. According to the, the law, to the law of the rapid support forces, they are under the head of the state. Uh, yes, state. of course. Not the army commander, but the head of the state. Yes. Burhan is the head of the state now. Yes, yes. So he has? He has the, any right to make any decision for it. So there is no need to speak in any so place. Yeah, there, there is no need. He just decide, and it's over. So you don't think you don't to, 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 to what extent this will lead to the postponement of the no uh, he, uh, uh, even General Daklo he, he is appointed to that he knows that he is part of Sudanese armed forces and he obeying it who said that he is not obeying it he just uh, take the decision which decision he need so what is all it what is it about he, all it this? is a chaos without problem no problem at all in the without military. the cause there, without cause. Without cause, they are that, they, everybody shouting without any cause, and that's the problem. We are going to you should go for election. So you have the armed forces. You are in charge of every uh, action, so either military or even in the civilian government. So go on for it, not shout outside of the box. That's that's a big that may make a big problem to me. Not only not only to us in Sudan, but even making confusion to the brokers. The, 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 International uh, brokers yesterday. They the seen. They seen that we are not dealing with our things carefully. So are they are intervening in everything, which is bad enough. They are intervening because we gave them the yes, the chance. Because we, we are not doing our job. Any, not, any vacuum Sovereignty is very important. Your dignity is very important. So you are ruling. That means you have uh, the sovereign council. Otherwise, uh, it will be nonsense. We, if you are expecting someone from outside, either the United Nations or even the countries around us, will dictate your policies, that will not be effective for Sudan and for the leadership also. And in scientific theories, any vacuum, if you if you leave any vacuum, someone to fill it. Definitely, it will be filled. Yes, and so they are filling that gap. They are filling that gap. This is a vacuum. Yeah. We are we are we we, we, we gave it. We gave it to them. Mm. Other, if you are in tight, mm. uh, you are in your uh, you stake and you are mandate. There will not be any problem. You you don't negotiate your mandate uh, given by the masses of Sudanese with others. You no. don't you don't negotiate uh, this your is mandate. a big problem. Okay, um, they say that apart from this. Apart from this, uh, the integration of the rapid support forces to the army, which is causing all this dilemma, I don't know why. This should be done behind closed doors, not okay. publicly. This is something highly technical, and it should be confidential to talk about the... You know rapid support forces don't need integration. It's already integrated in the armed forces. They are working together everywhere. That is... That is uh, who is saying that? They are already integrated. They are working together. They are on in the field together. They are making the any any effort together everywhere. You see in Darfur, East Sudan, in Port Sudan, they, they are together. working together. Yeah, they are so already somebody, integrated. Somebody, somebody is trying to no making troubles without uh, without a cause. Without, without a cause. Yeah, again, no, it is no without a cause. Uh, they are integrated. They have laws. They are working like uh, we have. Uh, police, we have uh, rapid support force, we have intelligence, we have also these part are of the, yeah, the, uh, the armed of, forces. Part of, of, the, of the armed forces. So there should be no, no talk about this. No talk, no but need be, to be talking about this issue anymore. As think. long as the rapid support force is, is by law under the head of the state, yes, yes. whether elected uh, yeah. civilian. Yeah, until elected government will think of the law bef again. If that is another thing, okay. there is a law and they have to go on. Okay, okay. About, about, just we move a little bit further in the, they say that the framework or, um, agreement, it seems that some, to some extent, some points were resolved and that at least they agreed upon, they are running after seats, I don't know why, 
that uh, some re resolve the, the, the eight, eight, eight members in the, to bring council, 40% to uh, women and uh, other, other issues, all about the sharing, power sharing, which is, this is the thing which kills the country, the power sharing. All are running after the power sharing. So what do you think of this running, they are speeding up things well, yeah, uh, to, I mean, to, get to, to get to the formation of the government? A, so any consensus about the transition is good, but uh, in, in the framework agreement was being specifically for only a small group of political parties. That is not uh, good. If it is became border enough and inclusive, it is better for the Sudan. Otherwise, otherwise, the military side who are in, t in power had the right to move forward without any concession between political parties. They can proceed on for, uh, for the transition and election. But uh, what we say uh, about the, uh, the power sharing, it is better to be inclusive. Again, we are speaking about this time, at any transition, the government is not to be shared by political parties. It is mostly by the, uh, our, we call it the professionals are uh, taking uh, uh, insight on this issue. That is our history before. Now we are speaking about sharing power between political parties Very without election. That will not we be effective. Not good. Why we will not be effective. Right Any talk that, about these things. For, for one simple reason, one simple reason is unfair because the government, this government is, will lay the foundation and prepare for the general elections, yes. which is supposed to be fair, just, and transparent. Mm. So if the political party, if they are involved... And impartial. Uh, impartial. Should be impartial. If they are, so they so if it is political parties, that means we will not be impartial. Definitely. Yeah. That's, that's, that's one of the reasons that is a problem. which necessitates yeah. oh. that the transitional government should be non-partisan, completely yeah, uh, non That is what I said. Uh, the military side who are taking power according to the uprising should have to lead this process to, to the end, to the election. So it is his uh, responsibility also to assign a uh, professionals to work out the this thing yes yeah no so need for any shouting about politicians anyway time okay on the likelihood of the continuation of this protracted dilemma mm -hmm. this deadlock what are your expectations will this government of the government of at least we have a Sudanese <coughs> government. At least we have a Sudanese take care, take care, uh, yeah, take government. Mm. That is what we call it authority. Take care of authority for the transition. And it is uh, General Bolhan to say, is he working for that transition genuinely or not? Otherwise, this dilemma will be going on for things nonsense. For nonsense. For nonsense. For, for, yeah. so, okay, let us say definitely. Many people they don't accept, they don't like the idea of the continuation of the civil servant administered appointed ministers or deputized ministers for, for, for some time, but they, they look for a proper cabinet of ministers, oh. politicians, yeah. non-partisan. Non, non oh. uh, on the likelihood of the failure of the whole thing, what, do you, what scenarios do you expect will go other than the continuation, this is ruled out, the continuation of the president, will, 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 will we go back to the state of emergency, will the military and uh, decide to appoint what what what, what scenario do you accept anyway from your experience? in 25th of uh, october last year or the year before uh, general burhan had made that point and was ready for a government uh, impartial government from professionals but he didn't go for that process so long and we are SP, we are uh, on that deadlock from since then so uh, this time this time around, if he make his mind and the politicians were not gone to any type of concessions, it is the best way to make that uh, agreement uh, process again. So it have it is for the general Burhan to go on for professional impartial government. Okay, let us our last question. This episode is hot, but it's very short because of Ramadan. One last question, very short question about some people they doubt the. The, 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 the credibility or the, the, the competence of the negotiators, the negotiators, because they don't have the well experience and they don't have the guts and they don't have the lack many things. Some people they talk about the civilian component 
or the both components of the framework that they think they are, they are incompetent or they are they lack the experience. In one minute, can you... Uh, you you mean the forces of change? All of them, yeah, the forces of change of the military. Those who are now preparing, who signed the, those who signed the framework, uh, let us say, those who signed the framework. Th those uh, had made that failure before and it is already tested. They are failure. Yes. So, so you agree to this allegation? Yes, of course. That they don't... They, don't, uh, uh, they okay. failed uh, last time. Okay. They brought uh, Mr. Hamdou and they failed to make that uh, agreement with the military. So they will, we don't expect any more, any, any uh, government with them. Before. Nothing new. Yeah. Repeating the so same they, they failed and they are still failing. Okay. Thank you, Stad my wife, for being with us in the Thank half you. an hour or so. It was a very hot uh, debate. Thank you, dear viewers, for being with us in the last half an hour. We hope to see you next week on the last Friday of Ramadan. We hope to have, by that time, a uh, resolution to something uh, positive to, the, to break the impact, impasse and the deadlock. Thank you and bye.